The residents of Florence, Oregon, wake up one morning and discover something smells fishy. A dead 8-ton, 45-foot humpback has washed up on the beach. And now they've got a whale of a problem. Town officials decide the beast is too big to cut up or haul away. But luckily, George Thornton has a plan. And it's dynamite. He's going to blow this big ball of blubber to bits. Brilliant! He figures the tiny fragments will be blown out to sea, and these eager seagulls will take care of the leftovers. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take. He's not sure because no one's been crazy enough to try this before. A small crowd of whale watchers gathers as the demolition experts get to work. Once the whale's packed with dynamite, policemen move the spectators to a safe distance. And there she blows. the explosion, chunks of burning blubber rain down from above as the people flee in terror. Behind this cloud of smoke, huge slabs of whale meat fall from the sky, bombarding the sleepy seaside village. A 200-pound whale stake destroys Walter Umenhofer's car, parked a quarter of a mile away. As every designated driver knows, there's nothing worse than having someone blow chunks in your car. But after all this, instead of being blasted into bird food, most of the whale carcass is still intact. And the seagulls can't eat the remains because they've all been scared away. As officials assess the damage, the townspeople buried the rest of the whale and their heads in the sand.